it's still cold and snowy here in Rhode Island, I am super ready for springtime. To help freshen up my craft room this spring, I decided to make these cute flower pot pin cushions, and I'm going to show you how to make your own. This tutorial is part of a spring DIY collaboration with a bunch of wonderful kin community channels that I know you're going to love. Be sure to check out our playlist at the end of my video for more DIYs to put you in the springtime mood. These pin cushions are really quick and simple to make, and they can be easily customized to fit your style. Here's how it's done. I started off with a plain clay flower pot from the craft store, and the first step is to paint or decorate it however you'd like. I'm using multi-surface acrylic paint and a paintbrush to create a paint-dipped look at the bottom of the flower pot. Since I didn't have enough to actually dip the pot in paint, I marked off where I wanted the paint to go using a rubber band. I tried this with painter's tape first, but the curved surface made it difficult for me to get a straight line all the way around. Once I was happy with the placement, I painted the first coat up to the rubber band. If the coverage is a little streaky, you can let it dry and paint another coat on top to get a more opaque finish. When both coats are dry, you can pull off the rubber band and peel or scratch off any of the paint sticking up at the edges. If you could figure out how to use the painter's tape, you might not have this issue. <laughs> Next, we'll be making the pincushion part using some fabric. If you don't have any leftover fabric scraps, you can buy remnants or fabric quarters like this at a fabric store. Measure the diameter of the top of your flower pot and multiply it by three to find out how much fabric you'll need. Round up if necessary. Mine needs to be about 11 square inches. So I measured an 11 by 11 inch square and cut it out of the fabric. Then I rounded the corners to get sort of a circle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, flip the fabric over so the wrong side is facing up. Grab a handful of polyester fiber fill, place it in the center of the fabric, and gather the edges and bunch them up like a little drawstring bag. Carefully add some more stuffing until you're happy with the size and shape of your pincushion, then use a rubber band to secure it. It should be slightly larger than the open part of your flower pot. All that's left is to glue the pincushion to the flower pot you decorated. Using a hot glue gun, squeeze out a good amount of glue along the inside rim of the flower pot. Then quickly stuff the pincushion in place so the gathered part with the rubber band is inside the pot and hold it down for a few seconds so the glue can set. And that's all there is to it. Feel free to vary the size of the flower pot and try all kinds of fabric patterns and paint colors. I decided to use these to sort the different kinds of sewing pins I use, and I even made a tiny one to hold sewing needles. I sew pretty often to make plushies for my Etsy shop, so I go through loads of pins. I'm excited that they're organized now. If you make these yourself, I'd love to see how they turn out. Send me a photo on Twitter at Lauren Myrtle. And don't forget to check out the rest of the DIY videos in our spring collab. I love making themed DIY videos with Kin, and I'm always so impressed with what the other creators come up with. I hope that all of you are doing well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.